We are joined now live on the phone by Jim Kraft. He is the police chief in the city of Lafayette. Chief Kraft, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Sir, can you give us the very latest on what you know about the gunman so far? Well, this is what we know so far. Um, the police department received a 911 call that there was an active shooter situation at the Grand Theater. And uh, our units responded. We had a very quick response time, one minute or less. Uh, four officers entered the theater to engage the shooter. Um, they heard shots being fired upon their arrival. And uh, we know we have a number of people injured. We don't know the number of fatalities yet. Uh, we're still working at it. It's a very chaotic scene, and we are still clearing the theater to make sure there's no explosives, no booby traps, and things like that. So very chaotic scene out here now, and we'll try and have an update once we get all of our facts straight and make sure that the information we're giving out is accurate. Chief, I can appreciate that. If you'll hang with me for a moment, and let me just ask some follow-up questions. The first, do you believe that the shooter drove to the theater, and have you located a vehicle in the parking lot you believe belongs to the gunman? We have not located a vehicle yet. Um, we immediately dispatched other units to other theaters um, just for uh, security reasons. And we have a number of cars in this parking lot because there were quite a few people. This is multiple theaters, so there are quite a few people here. And so we are in the process of checking each vehicle, examining it and clearing it and uh, determining what vehicles belong here and what, which ones do not. Chief, I can understand that it's going to take an autopsy for you to finally know whether or not the gunman killed himself or whether or not your officers killed him. But I have to ask, right. from what you have been able to find out so far, do you believe that the gunman was brought down by your officers? Um, I, I don't know that yet. We are actually confirming that right now, whether or not any of our officers were involved in, in discharging their weapons. Chief. And so far, we haven't, we haven't received any information to indicate that. Chief, you mentioned that your officers were able to get in to the movie theater within a minute of the 911 call, which is an incredible response time. But I want to ask you this. I've been inside that movie theater, and as you enter, as you said, there are several different theaters from left to right. Where did your officers encounter the gunman? How soon after they entered the doors of the theater did they find the gunman? Um, I think it was in number 14, but we haven't confirmed that yet either. So, so again, you're saying that the gunman... We, we have a crime scene. We have a crime scene here, and so we're not entering and, and you know, allowing people in. We're, we're actually having our crime scene folks do all of their processing first before we, we actually go in. And so once we get all of our details straight and have all of our information uh, sure that all of our information is accurate then we'll we'll update everyone chief let me ask you this we have heard we have spoken with d stanley your chief administrative officer and he has told us that several people have been transported to local hospitals of those transported by acadian ambulance to local hospitals are the injuries said to be life-threatening uh, uh it's my understanding that yes some injuries are life-threatening Okay. And we have folks at the hospital as well reporting on, on those folks uh, and their condition. Chief Kraft, I'm going to ask you a question, and it's probably too early to ask the question, but you probably will appreciate I'm just doing my job in asking it. Do we know so far whether or not this was a domestic incident? In other words, was this gunman targeting a relative or a spouse or someone he knew specifically? Uh, we don't know. That's part of our investigative process to determine, you know, why was he here, why was he in this theater, and what was his, his motive for the shooting. Chief, of the other person who is deceased, is that a female or a male? Uh, I haven't confirmed yet how many uh, are deceased or what sex uh, but, either. So uh, but the I, second, I won't be the able second to say anything person, about that until I get updated. The second person at the theater, do we know if that's a female or a male? What? The second, I'm sorry, I can't the hear you. That's okay. The second person deceased at the theater. Do we know if that is a female or a male? I, I don't know that we have deceased people at the theater at this point. So is the gunman's is the gunman's body at the theater? 
uh, we, I, I, I can't answer that yet. Okay. We have a crime, an active crime scene that we're working. So okay. as soon as we can confirm that, we'll, we'll get that information out. Fair enough. Chief, thank you for the patience in answering the questions. We will get back to you. Uh, shortly, hopefully, with new information. Chief Jim Kraft, you have been listening to, joining us live by phone. Chief, thank you.